Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tara and I formulate skincare products. If you're into that, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today, I'm gonna be duping Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. You've probably seen this product before. It's all over the internet and it's actually surprisingly pretty simple to make. So this product claims to help clear the skin, minimize and enlarge pores, and it contains 2% salicylic acid because salicylic acid exfoliates the skin. Now salicylic acid can be pretty harsh on the skin. It can cause irritation. So when using this product, you do want to just slowly introduce it to your skincare routine. Also, you wanna make sure you're always wearing a sunscreen when using this product. Their ingredients are pretty minimal. They have water, a solvent to enhance the absorption of salicylic acid, a humectant, salicylic acid, a solubilizer, green tea extract, a pH buffer, and a chelating agent. My formula, I won't be using the solvent to enhance the absorption of salicylic acid as I can't source that ingredient, but everything else in my formula is basically identical, except I decided to add in a preservative. They aren't using a preservative. I'm not sure what they are doing in their lab. I can only assume, but I'm assuming that it's self-preserving due to a really low pH level but we're formulating from home, we need a preservative. And I'm also not gonna be adding in a chelating agent like they used, but you can add one in if you want. So I'm gonna be making a 200 gram batch and I'm gonna start out with phase A. You wanna make sure your equipment is all cleaned and sanitized and you're gonna weigh out four grams of salicylic acid and then add in 20 grams of propendiol. And propendiol is a humectant, this will help add some hydration to your skin. And this also just needs to be mixed with the salicylic acid in order to help get it all dissolved. And then we're gonna be adding in polysorbate 20. This is a solubilizer. This is what's going to keep the salicylic acid actually dissolved in the formula. And I'm gonna add in 10 grams of it. If you don't have polysorbate 20, you could use polysugamulse D9, or you could use polysorbate 80, maybe sunflower solubilizer, I've never tried it, but you can use any other like liquid solubilizer that you have and see if it works. So you wanna mix all those together. Don't worry about the salicylic acid dissolving yet. So we're gonna take a pan filled up with like an inch or so of water, depending on how big your container is, place it on a stove top on like medium heat, and then place your beaker in there. And you're just gonna keep an eye on it and come back and mix it periodically until all those salicylic acid chunks dissolve. And while that's heating up, you can go ahead and work on phase B. And in another container, you can weigh out 153 grams of distilled water. And then we're gonna add in a pH buffer. Now, don't worry about this yet. I'll explain how to make this at the end because it is kind of like a whole other thing, but just know here you need to add in eight grams of your pH buffer. What this is going to do is raise the pH of your water. And you want your water to have a really high pH because your salicylic acid has a really, really low pH. And the salicylic acid's pH is so low that it will burn your skin. So you need to add it in to water that has a high pH to end up like balancing out the pH. You end up with a pH somewhere between 3.5 to 4.5. I'll show you at the end what the pH of mine is, but that's why we're doing this step. Anyways, once the salicylic acid in phase A is completely dissolved, it'll be clear. You wanna pour that into your phase B, which is your water and pH buffer. And you'll notice it'll get cloudy. That's normal. Just mix it all in. And now we're gonna move on to phase C. We're gonna add in four grams of the green tea extract, and then we're gonna add in Liquid Dermal Plus. This is a preservative. Paula's Choice doesn't have a preservative in their product. I'm assuming it's because it has such a low pH, it's self-preserving, but they are formulating in labs with actual scientists and chemists. We are at home. We wanna make sure we're using a preservative just to be safe. So I'm adding in one gram of Liquid Dermal Plus. If you would like to learn more about preservatives and your other preservative options, you can watch my video all about preservatives. I'll link it down below. And now it's time for us to check the pH. Now this part is extremely important. You wanna make sure you're not burning your skin and you're at a safe pH. So you want to pour a little bit of your product in a small beaker. I'm using a 25 milliliter beaker and then placing my pH meter in the beaker. And the pH is 3.95. You want a pH anywhere between 3.5 to 4.5. That's a pH low enough that the salicylic acid is still active, but high enough that it won't burn your skin because anything below 3.5 will probably 
burn your skin. I'm gonna be packaging mine in this four ounce glass bottle. I'll link down below to some similar ones. And I do wanna point out, if you have bubbles on the top of yours, just let it sit overnight, the bubbles will go away. But then again, once you pour it in your bottle, the bubbles will come back on top. That's totally normal. When you shake this, there will just be bubbles. It's because of the polysorbate 20. That's just how it is, so don't worry about that. But yeah, that is the finished product. To use this, you just wanna pour it on your hands and then just pat it into your skin when it's dry after cleansing. And you wanna use it before your toner, serum, or moisturizer. So it's your first step after cleansing and drying your skin. And if you want, you could use a cotton round instead, just whatever you prefer. And if you do have sensitive skin, you can use this product. It'll definitely work. You just have to work your way up to it. I started out with lactic acid, then I used glycolic acid, and now I'm using salicylic acid. Work your way up. I'm sure you can probably eventually use it. Anyways, let's talk about how to make that pH buffer I talked about earlier. You wanna make sure you're wearing gloves, a mask, and long sleeves in your outside when doing this. We are gonna be dissolving 10% sodium hydroxide in distilled water. That's what the pH buffer is. If you've made soap, you're familiar with sodium hydroxide. It's the main ingredient that you need to make soap. You need to weigh out 50 grams of sodium hydroxide in a glass bowl. I'll link down below to the exact bowl I'm using if you wanna purchase the ones that I'm using. Then you need to grab a high density polyethylene, I hope I said that word right, plastic container. I'll link down below to this exact one I'm using. It works really, really well and weigh out 450 grams of distilled water. If you don't wanna make this much pH buffer, just follow the formula in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Then you're going to pour the sodium hydroxide in the distilled water, not the other way around. And you wanna do this outside or in a well-ventilated room and then mix it. And you'll notice a bunch of fumes will come off of it. It'll start smoking, sizzling, it'll get hot. That's totally normal. Just let it sit there and do that until it runs clear and it quits smoking. Then you can bring it back inside. And that's all you need to do. You can just pour it into a plastic container, the one I'm holding up right now. This plastic container works perfect, and I'll link down below to these containers as well. And make sure you wear gloves, masks, and long sleeves when working with that sodium hydroxide. And that is about it for today's video. Let me know how you guys like the dupe. Let me know if you've ever actually used this product, what you think of it. How do you react to salicylic acid? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what other product you want to see me dupe next. And like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me at Terry Lee Skincare on Instagram. I'll talk to you later.